Well, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Wait. Countdown. Countdown. Our, uh, this is Thursday. We have today and tomorrow two more days of our series of our uh, kids after stay at home special from today's uh, that watches today's uh, webcast to send me an email. I want to give everybody that's on today, I want to send you a PDF of uh, and uh, all of. I'm writing a book about this experience of these past 70 plus days. Hi, Diane Kelly. Hi, Lance. Uh, thank you, Merrick. Thank you, Merrick Bennett, for your comment. So uh, thank you. Hi, John. Hi, Gabe. So I'm writing a book about this experience of all these different weeks of uh, Hour of Pencil Power. Uh, the, remember the day when we drew the frogs and the day we drew the brainy Bob and the gingerbread man? And the the uh, the day we drew the robots and the bunny rabbits, the day we did the pencil shark, we've had so much fun. And the day we did the uh, Bill Watterson, Calvin and Hobbes inspired imagination transporters, cardboard boxes. Do you guys remember all these? Well, if you want to get an index with uh, all sixty or seventy pages, I don't know how many, and it does include it includes my. Uh, <clears throat> my Artemis member on Saturday. Now these Saturday episodes will continue, but it I'll tell you more about these in a second. But if you want to get a free uh, PDF that has the index, it's just three pages. It's eight and a half by 11. Okay. And we'll send it out to you. Be patient. It might take me a week or so. Seeing these today and tomorrow's lessons. I, for the, if you watch it in the post, the, uh, recorded post or if you watch it live you send me an email <clears throat> and in the subject line send me an email to mark at mark .com. Now, it might take me a week or so but just remember here's the email mark at mark and it, in the subject line you have to say please 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 three times say please because amanda Furman is doing this for me and she's very, very busy. <laughs> so be very super grateful. Say, please, please, please send me the free PDF. We'll send you the PDF of the index. It's not the book because I'm pre-selling the book here to raise funds uh, for our operations here to pay a portion of our operations. Now, if you want to pre-purchase this book, The Hour of Pencil Power, which is going to be 100 pages, it's going to be so great. Um, eight and a half by 11 book. It's 50% off. You go to my website, you go to Mark Kistler right here, markkistler.com. Look for that icon, click it. And it's, it's half off. And I draw a picture on the inside for you and it'll be out in uh, a couple months. It's only available through, through my website. And so this is the hour pencil power surviving COVID quarantine with creativity <clears throat> to get a PDF. Excuse me. So I'm so sorry. To get a PDF of all the days, of all 60 to 70 days, it'll be uh, three or four pages long. It'll be eight and a half by 11. It's free for anybody who watches Thursday and Friday's episode posted our last two days of this. Uh, in the subject line, write, please, please, please send me uh, the free PDF and we'll send it to you, okay? And you can even say Amanda, please, and I'll send it to you. All right, so t thank you guys. Today we're drawing the elephant. I just want to welcome my son, Mario. Mario's here today. Hi, Mario. Hey, he's my he's my 18 year old teenager. He's waking up, so he's still a little still a little groggy. How you doing? How's your eye today, Mark Mario? Good. How do you feel? Every day, it's like oh, how do you feel? Any headache? Any temperature? All right. All right. Um, yeah, Mario's gonna go visit our family in uh, in uh, Indiana, and then he's gonna uh, uh, travel up to. Uh, Michigan for family visits. So we're so excited for him. It's so healthy for him to, to get out. He's going to be practicing, you know, social distancing. And we believe in wearing the mask because it's just being good to you and good to everybody around you. And his, our family members are going to be so, they're going to be so excited, Mario. I'm so excited for you. Me, on the other hand, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm st still going to be in, uh, Practicing very, very prudent and safe social isolation for my age group and my health conditions, as I recommend for, for everybody. 
let's just uh, be patient and kind to each other and ride this thing out together and, and try to just, just be, just be, um, just be careful. And it, it's just wear a mask. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's just dentists wear masks. Doctors wear masks. Mark Kistler wears mask. Mark Kistler, let me say that again. Mark Kistler wears mask just to be loving and friendly and is conscious of people around me if we ever go out. So I love you guys. All right, uh, Mario, I'm going to start drawing. We're going to draw elephants today, guys. Last two days. Last two days, guys. Here we go. Last two days. Here we go, guys. Oh, this is what's happening yesterday. Here's what we did yesterday. Look at this. I'm still working on it, but we did the four cat, the three castles. And remember, we have a live a Zoom virtual art camp coming up. I know I'm going to start drawing. You guys are being very patient with me, but I just uh, this is the last couple of days, so I want to make sure I, I just visit with you for the summer art camp. We're really getting some members. It's going to be so great. It's going to be Zoom based. It's going to be a Zoom based summer art camp, and uh, I'm just so excited. Uh, Roger Thompson uh, uh, just joined the group today from Facebook, and he used to watch Secret City every day. What he watched, he watched this old show, The Secret City. Uh, it was this show right here on PBS back in 1985, and then we did this show back in 1999, and this show right here, Imagination Stations on Amazon Prime, okay? So thank you for watching those old shows today. I hope today you're ready. I hope today you're ready to lift off with your imagination for our hour of pencil power. I hope that you're ready to celebrate with creative flowers, the hour of pencil power. I hope you're ready to stick your neck out for creativity, our hour of power. I hope that you, you, your eyes are on your paper. Your eyes are on your pencil. Look at, I have all these great art cards. Aren't these fun? Thank you, Amanda, for making those for me. All right, put them all in the proper slots. All right, so we're going to be drawing elephants today. Elephants, I know you guys are like, come on, get on with the drawing already. Let's go. So let's, let me put my uh, paper up here. Uh, where's my paper? Where's my paper? Here we go. All right, here's our paper. Now, the, we're going to get our four squares. Thank you guys for your patience. I, I just, I'm so excited to have you guys here. And Mario's got paper, too. Oh, he's got my extra paper for me in case I need it. Do you want a pencil? Do you want to draw? You're just going to sit and chill? All right. I'm going to put a dot right in the middle of my paper as my guide point. And I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw my line. It's kind of squiggly. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be. Look, I missed my line completely here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Pretty good collection here. All right, now the first elephant we're going to draw up here in square number one, I'm going to point to it, is this is, a, this is what inspired this whole lesson a few years ago. And this one is, uh, I'm getting my cameras all set up for you guys. I'm going to move this down just a bit here. And getting my cameras all set. Thank you, guys. You're so patient with me. All right, so I got my, it looks like I got YouTube and Facebook. Now, this first one was from a shampoo bottle, and I was uh, I was shopping for shampoo, and this was when Mario and Selena were little kids, and they loved this special shampoo. That was, it was a blue bottle, and this particular brand had an elephant on the cover, and I thought it was so cool, so I'm going to we're gonna draw this. It just shows you never know when you're going to get inspired or from where you're going to get inspired. So we're going to draw this elephant here. And then uh, it inspired, really. And then, you know, before I draw the, the, uh, the well, I'll draw the trunk. The trunk's going to come right down off the front. And then I'm going to curve it up. Little S-curve. And it's going to flare out. And I'm going to draw a four short and circle. And there's this trunk coming off. See, I'm drawing very lightly. I'm blocking it. In. I'm sketching. I'm sketching. And, and then I'm going to curve it. How, how is it looking on Facebook? I hope it's uh, staying focused for you guys. So I'm lightly sketching. Uh, I'm lightly sketching and we're shaping, we're molding. Now watch the little feet here. The little feet come. I'm going to draw these. This, are, this is a very symbolic 
image of the elephant okay it's just a, it was on a shampoo bottle it's a little kid's cartoon i just thought it was so good the back this leg is lower this let back leg is higher that's far away you see that's far away all right so let's go ahead and let's uh let's erase it now watch this the back leg just we're gonna do this with everyone i'm gonna on the shampoo bottle they had to come straight across but i'm gonna turn this back leg you see, I mean, even with these legs, I'm using our direction northwest and direction northeast, right? Notice how I'm doing that? And so this this leg is going to be short right here. A little smaller, you see this? A little smaller, it's further away. And then I'm going to put the little tail. It has a little tail, the little elephant's tail. The elephant's eyes are going to use size, and their eyes going to be larger. The near eye is going to be larger, and the back eye gets smaller as it moves away. The back eye is a little bit smaller. It's further away back behind here. Let me check the comment box on Facebook first. Hello, Rowan. Thank you for saying hi tomorrow. He went down to eat his breakfast lunch. You want to draw Godzilla tomorrow? I'm thinking about drawing the gorilla, maybe Godzilla tomorrow. That's a good idea. Thank you, Rowan, for the ideas. Rod Thompson, thanks for joining. Uh, Steve Hatman, thanks for joining. Karen Wall, thank you. Our last two days, Katie Shalupa, Merrick Lance. I'm so glad to have all you guys on with me today. Let's check out YouTube. We have Scotland on from Emma, and we have John Kim, and we have Hidden Numus Mastat, and we have Travis, and we have John, Don, AK, hi, Jacqueline, hi. Uh, you want to draw some pigs, huh? And then someone wants to draw a fox. Well, we got one more day tomorrow. One more day. And then, of course, you guys, you want to draw with me. I'm going to be taking lots of uh, uh, suggestions, drawing foxes and pigs and giraffes and uh, more castles that are my virtual. This is Zoom. We're going to use Zoom, you guys. I'm going to do all this Zoom base. This will be on Zoom. I'm going to write it here. Uh, this will be our Zoom Virtual summer art camp on Zoom. So it'll be, uh, you'll be able to show drawings with the world. Hello, Hudson. How are you? All right. So now I'm going to draw the ears on this guy. His ears go up. He's got these really big ears. Like just, just almost like Dumbo size ears. In fact, I have a good drawing. I was trying, I was drawing a cartoon of Dumbo here. Look at, should we do that one? That's a fun one, too. I might save that one for the summer art camp. For for uh, uh, So here, so we're going to draw. We'll draw this elephant. Now I'm going to draw. I want to erase this and fix his ear just a little bit. See, that's why we draw light, you guys. We draw light so we can. I'm going to have his ear go back. And then there's this one big ear. And this other, this other ear is going to be smaller. And it's going the opposite direction. Look at the visual logic where the ear comes out. And you just see it. The other way is going to be coming out back here. And that's going to come down. So let me uh, get my reference sheet up here. And it comes right behind the eye. Isn't that cool? Little Our little elephant. So the eyes are really big. And he's looking down here. And here's his trunk. And you know what? I'm going to make him blowing some bubbles. I'm going to make him blowing. Oh, yeah. We've got his, his little tiny tusks. He's got these little tusks right here. So look at. I'm going to draw one tusk here. Draw one tusk there coming out. And this other tusk, you can barely see it on the other side here. See, he's got two little tusks. Isn't that cute? One through ten. What do you guys like it? One through ten. Hello, Emilio Jose Palio Mendez. Good to see you. We're drawing elephants today. Lots of elephants. And I'm still trying to get going this morning, but I did. I did my elliptical. Are you proud of me? I did my elliptical. So I'm going to put, I want to change the shape of this ear just a bit. Let's see. I already drew it pretty darn dark. But what I wanted to do was take this ear as it comes down, and I kind of want to cut it like that. Just a little bit of a bend right there. I like that a little bit better. And then I'm going to put a little shadow under the ear. A little shadow under the ear. And this back ear is going to be all in shadow. So just this is the fun part. This is when we're detailing it in. His, he looks like he can fly away with his wings, doesn't he? Fly away with his ears like Dumbo. 
All right, I'm going to shade the the leg opposite the light source. The back leg is higher up. That's uh, placement near things are lower. Remember, we have these 12, these 12 words of drawing. They're super important. Our 12 words of drawing. They're called the, the Renaissance words. And I should have them right here, and I don't. Where are my 12 Renaissance words? Oh, here they are. All right, so here's the 12 Renaissance words. You make, make sure you get a copy of this today and tomorrow. These are free on my Draw 3D site. That And also the Drawing Directs and Compass. These are two reference charts. Go to draw3d.com right here and click uh, downloads and get those free charts. Of course, if you can't sign up for my Summer Art Camp Virtual Zoom, you can sign up for my Draw 3D Camp, you guys. It's uh, Here's your 75% off code right here. Two more days of the code working. You have two more days. Uh, for the code and it's not $200 for a family membership for 500 lessons with me it's $49 with that code now you could just take the 50% off if you want whatever you could afford all your uh, purchases are so great I'm grateful grateful thank you attitude of gratitude for sure thank you for helping my family and my team get through this uh, crisis together and uh I sure appreciate your support, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And all you guys who, who have contributed to my GoFundMe, it's really helped us uh, to, to get through this together. And um, if you guys if you guys have uh, valued these drawings at all, and if you've uh, done the drawings with me, how about uh, donating, uh, contributing a dollar per lesson that you've enjoyed? Count up your sketchbook. I'm going to be very bold and very direct and ask you for your support. Count up how many lessons you've drawn and please make a donation um, of a dollar per lesson. You don't have to, if you, uh, but if you can, it certainly is appreciated. Type in my name, Marquesas GoFundMe. Pitch in a buck a lesson. And if you valued it, if it may brought, uh, brought joy and meaning to your summer and during this COVID time, then I certainly appreciate it. The uh, shout out. I appreciate you uh, sharing some love with us. And this is how we pay a portion of our normal bills. Just a portion. Just a portion. We're just trying to get to uh, keep keep going here. So thank you, thank you. I'm going to put some bubbles coming up. Use some large and some small. Now I'm going to go back in and I'll add a lot more detail later on. But there you go. I'll add more shading to this. It's going to be it'll look good. Well, thank you, Facebook drawing. And let's go on to drawing number two. To square number two. I'm going to finish this up. See. When we're done with this drawing, I'll go back and I'll add background and texture, you see, like for the doggy. I'm going to add a lot more detail to it later on. Then I'll post it. I'm going to post these on Instagram, okay? So let's go to square number two, and we're going to draw this guy. We're going to draw this guy. Now, notice how the proportion, his head is really big on this one. Now, this one, his head's a bit smaller. I'm trying to make like a teenage elephant. If you draw his head too big, proportionally, it'll look like a baby. So you've got to make the heads a little bit smaller. Now, here's what's coming up. We're going to draw elephant's butt. I don't know if we've already done one of these, but we can draw one elephant's butt, or we can draw the whole herd of elephant's butt. Okay? Now, if you're ready, let's go ahead and draw this guy. So we're going to block this guy in. Square number next square. Get YouTube all set here. How's YouTube look, you guys? All right. One. We're going to tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to start with a. I'm going to draw this circle. I'm going to block the shape in here. I'm going to block this guy in. Okay, block him in here. Big, giant, kind of more of an oval. Now, we're going to be molding the shape, molding it, and, and shaping it. And then, then I'm going to take this guy right here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw his head. So right here, so watch this. I'm, now I'm going to keep shaping and molding this. I'm going to keep shaping. I'm going to see where his forehead comes off of the top. And I'm going to draw, draw his head right here. Okay, so we're just shaping. We're molding. We're shaping. Now his near, his near leg is going to come down here. It's going to be bigger. And his, it has like this, this muscle right here. And this will be his, his near leg. Now watch this. As the leg comes down, it's going to kind of, the pressure, the weight of the elephant kind of expands the, the foot out just a bit. 
See, it's now mine's a little exaggerated. I'm very cartoony, but the, we're getting the, the general idea here. See, all right. So there's there's our elephant. Now watch this. Let me see if I can straighten this camera just a bit for you guys on YouTube. All right. Now I'm I'm not sure why this camera is so wobbly up here. Sorry about this. I'm going to try to get the YouTube camera a little more stable. And there we go. All right. Now, using our drawing directions, direction northeast, southeast, right? I'm going to take this one and go uphill just a bit. See this? This is going to do a guideline and direction. What direction is this right here, you guys? This right here is a guideline and direction northeast. And then this is a guideline and direction northwest. All right. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lance. Doing good. Now. The back leg, so this is our near leg, and we you have your eraser. You know that we're going to be cleaning cleaning up as we go. We're using overlapping. Now, the back leg, now watch this. This is going to be his belly, and his back leg's going to come right off the butt here, the elephant bum. And see, it tucks it. See, this is overlapping. And then it's going to expand out because of the weight, right? It's going to curve out just a bit. And we want to kind of see how we're doing. We're just kind of shaping. This one's bigger. It gets smaller as it moves away. And then the uh, we'll work on the back in just a second. All right. So there's our near foot. It's lower on the paper. The proportion is looking pretty good for me. And uh, the ear, the ear's gonna the eyes. Let me draw the eyes here. I'm gonna draw the near eye about right here. And I'm gonna move it up just a bit. See, I'm looking at my my drawing here of the elephant. So I'm going to move this guy, this eyes up. Uh, now you can always change these if it doesn't fit. Okay, so this eye's larger. That's overlapping, and then his trunk's going to come down. I'm going to have him come down. And it's going to swoop up here. And I'm going to end it in a foreshort, and we're going to fix that in just a second. Add more detail. But he's like reaching out for a, a peanut, right? He wants you to give him a peanut or some some uh, delicious treats. So I'm just lightly sketching it in. I'm scribbling. I'm molding. I'm shaping. <clears throat> looking good. Looking good. Looking cool. Now, I'm thinking I want to make his trunk a little bit longer than that. So let's let me see something. I'm going to try something here. Let me see. What if I pulled it down even lower like this? What if I had him like this? How's that? Do you like, look at. I want to make it more fluid. See, I'm. Yeah, I'm going to keep working it. I'm going to keep working it until I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to curl. I like it a more of a natural curl here, and it comes out. Gets thicker. Just take your time until you're comfortable with it. And then now I'm going to have the tusk. Watch this. The tusk is going to come out from here. I'm going to have it curl back. And it's going to go out in front of his uh, uh, trunk. See, it's overlapping in front. And the back tusk, tusk is you can barely see it back here. See that? That's that's it. Now, that doesn't look long enough, does it? So let's take the back tusk. See, I guess I keep on shaping it, molding it. If it doesn't work out for you, I mean, if it's not, um, if it's not looking right, just erase it. It's you, you're the, it's your, you're, the, it's your masterpiece. It's your drawing here. Okay. All right. So now uh, we put the ear. So we have the back tusk is smaller. This tusk is a little bit bigger. See, mine looks longer than that one. Uh. I'm not quite happy with that, so I'm just going to keep redoing it. You guys see? Here, give yourself that the failure to flop. Give yourself permission to flop. And I'm trying to find my my little license here. I, I have a really cool failure to flop license. You guys ever see that? Of course, now I need it. I don't know where it's at in my all my notes. Where is my... Oh, here it is. Give yourself the license to flop. You must fail to su su succeed. Okay. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Diane. So now, see, I keep erasing. I keep molding. I'm not going to get stressed out. Stress is on the bus. Someone, 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 uh, 
someone type in beep beep stresses on the bus you guys look at all my eraser crumbs we're just it's just fun we're shaping we're molding it now remember what i want you to do after you finish this is just really sore i want you to put backgrounds and details and have them say yeah who and talking i just have really enjoyed adding these details um here look at look at this one look at the bunny rabbit see this the robots i darken it in I darken in the edges. So on uh, this lesson today, what I'm doing, like here was the brain. Remember the brains and remember the penguins? But then you darken it in, you refine it, you focus it, and you really take off. You soar, you take off. So I'll spend a good two, two, three hours after this hour finishing up the drawing, okay? Uh, yeah, bye-bye, Stress. Thank you, Jacqueline, for typing that. And John says, that's right. Uh, uh drawing is magic it's visual communication it's magic to your your spirit magic to your soul it truly is all right so let's put the elephant's ear here i'm going to draw this is the african elephant has the big ear the indian elephant has the smaller ears and i'm going to draw kind of a jagged line and it's going to come down you see it has this really cool shape i'm going to go back i think i'm i'm, I'm happy with that shape maybe i'm going to move it up just I don't know. I think that that might be good right there. And then this ear goes in this direction and have a jagged shape. See, it's, a, it's we're doing the same thing. It's just I'm going to add more detail to it over here. So erase where the ear is coming from behind. Erase, erase, erase. And this is really going to be cool when we bring it into focus. The back leg back here is shorter and smaller and it expands out. It's, it's, a, it's a shadow leg, right? It's way back there behind. And this one's higher, see? So this one, I'm going to kind of pull that one out. There's his chest. All right, so now we get to start adding some details. So I'm going to go ahead and darken this down. I'm going to focus it now. See, I push hard with my pencil, and I start putting some contour lines. Now, look at this. This the, These curved lines will go this way on the trunk. It's like a tube, right? And I like that eye. I like that eye just where it's at. I think I'm going to move this other eye just a little bit lower and put this other eye just a little bit lower. That looks cool here. And this guy, he's looking down this way. He's looking down. He sees, trying to see what's going on there. And I'm going to draw you. I'm going to put you sitting up here on top of the elephant. So this is going to be you. You're going to be right here. And I'm going to have you sitting here. What you? Who is this going to be? Type in me, me, me if you want this to be you. If you want this to be you sitting up here on the elephant, you type in me, me, me. I'm going to put your arms back over here. Here's your arms. I'm going to have your. I'm going to have your hands. I'm going to have your hands holding on to the ear. And look at this. I'm going to have this hand over here. And then does someone type in me, 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 me if you're going to be holding on to that. Who, who's gonna be who's gonna be on the elephant who's go, going for a ride on the elephant someone type in me 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 so I'm gonna type you here here you are I'm drawing you in here I'm gonna give you like the jungles jungle book I love that story of the jungle book what's what was the jungle book's uh, name of the 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 little guy the little little boy in the jungle raised by the by the bear and the uh Animals in the jungle. Put a couple couple hairs on the elephant's head. Let's see here. I'm going to hear you. I'm drawing you in here. This is you. You're going to be sitting up. I wonder what kind of story. I wonder what kind of story you can write about this. This is your domain. This is your adventure. You're the great storytellers. Me, 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 me. I need me, me, me. Who's who's going to, who's going to be, uh, see Rod, say me, 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 Mowgli, Katie, Shalupa, De Jong, Eliza, and Jana. You guys could be on the elephant. Look at, you guys could be riding the, maybe we'll put a whole group of elephants and put all you kids, you kids on the group of elephants marching away here. Uh, look at Jacqueline says, me, me, me. Maybe this is Jacqueline up here. Maybe this is. If this is Rod, maybe this is Katie, maybe this is Diane, maybe this is Eliza and Jana. 
Hey, uh, Diane has just today volunteered to be my official room uh, monitor for my NASA launch. Now, we, 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 we're drawing these episodes every Saturday, right, you guys? You guys know about this. But this Saturday has been delayed because, uh, as we all know, they had a wonderful rehearsal yesterday for uh, the NASA of uh, the, the launch to the space station. The, they're using this this rocket uh, from SpaceX, and it was so exciting. Did you guys see that launch? Well, they had a weather delay till this Saturday, and so all of our uh, NASA guests and our uh, director and technical director and guest artists, they need to be in their support roles for the launch at the uh, uh, Houston Control or in Kent J Kennedy Center. So our Saturday episode has been delayed, if you can believe that. They're delaying our Saturday live special for a rocket launch to the space station. Isn't that, isn't that cool? I think I can't imagine a better reason to get delayed. So we're not having an episode this Saturday. It's postponed for the Saturday following. And I'm very excited about it, you guys. I'm very excited about it. We're going to be drawing the launch system. It's going to be the the uh, the launch towers of the – and then I just draw that. There's our little ear. I'm going to put the thickness of the ear. And I'm going to draw the, this, the elephant's ear. Isn't that cool? So uh, – and Diane has volunteered to be our social media – monitor thank you diane for volunteering to do that i knew you would love to do it right ha ah, you've been doing such a great uh great job uh, uh the elephant could wear a hawaiian lay around the trunk he certainly could now watch this look at these contour lines these contour lines change direction as they move up his head you see that and i'm going to add more detail later on i just love the idea that you guys are up here, you're holding on to that back ear back here. And I'm going to put that ear in shadow. So this, uh, our Saturday NASA hashtag draw Artemis, our live NASA collaboration, our episode four. I think we're going to be doing at least 10, perhaps uh, 13 episodes. Um, it's every Saturday at, at noon, you guys, every Saturday at noon, uh, except for July 4th and except for the, this Saturday coming up with the law, with the launch. All right. This is looking good. You guys, I really like this one. All right. It's coming down. Let's go ahead and do this one up here. Now this one, I'm going to kind of draw his little, his little fingers, right? His little, his trunks are, are actually almost like they're. Their uh, their uh, hand, you know, and we can put some more contour lines as the trunk comes. See, this it's like a tube, you know, the wrinkles. It's like a tube here, and I'm not sure I like that trunk like that. I'm gonna squeeze it down just a little bit here. All right, he's kind of reaching out. Now, draw the belly. I'm going to darken in the leg. And here's contour lines. It kind of goes on. I'm going to put, look at this. I'm going to put these, these, uh, these toenails. One, two, three. I'm going to put these three toenails on the front over here. And curving that muscle. I love darkening in the detail. I just love this. So I'm going to draw these. Here's one, two, three. And they get smaller as they move away. And it's darker up underneath here, guys, and it blends lighter as it comes across. It's darker, and it gets lighter. It's a round object. Now, this back leg is pretty much all in shadow, just like that back ear. And I will, I'm going to add more shading to the, the left side, I'll shade his belly underneath here. I'm going to put a shadow under his ear. This is the fun part when you start adding lots of shading. And we'll, and I'll, I'll put a lot more detail on this later on, but I want to finish the 
Now I'm going to give the back a little bit of a dip and it's going to come up and it's going to curve around here. And I think I'll, I'll make the back leg a little bit larger. Okay. Now that was a little too much. That was a little too much. I, I made him his, his butt stick up too much. So I'm going to tone that down just a little bit. I'm going to have a little bit of a dip and then it comes up like that. All right. I like that. That's cool. And this is the same shape I use for my rhinoceroses. And then you curve the bottom. I'm going to put the, these little toes. I want to make them smaller than the front ones. One, two, three. And uh, I, I kind of like the, put, put, putting his foot out just a little bit like that. Now, I'm going to draw his little tail back here. Just a little tail. There's his little tail back there. That looks cool, you guys. Now, I'm definitely going to put a shadow. See this coming up? I'm going to put a shadow on the ground. Shadow comes down in that same direction. South direction. South. Um, uh, south. Help me, guys. Huh? Help me. Direction south. What is it? Southeast or southwest? Help me. Remind me. Now, then look at this. I'm going to put the shadow of his trunk. I want to put that shadow of his trunk coming out here. So I start at light, you guys. I start at light, and I'll get darker and darker and darker. We're going to put a, uh, put a I'll put a horizon line back behind here. Okay, I'm going to put a I'm going to put a horizon line back behind them both. I think I'll put it right here. I'm going to put a horizon line back there. See that? That I'll make that the the ground, and I'll put us. I'm going to do all the way across. You see, it comes across here. And there's our horizon line. That'll be cool. See, both elephants. So that makes me want to put a shadow on this guy, too. And we'll work on the ground shadow and the shading more. Look, I can go back in here. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to suck into the more shading. Stop. All right. So I'm going to put a shadow a shading underneath his belly. And we'll use our stompy in just a second. But definitely darker but under here it gets lighter. Now you can barely see right back here. You can barely see the peekaboo back leg. See that little peekaboo back leg back there? Isn't that cool? We'll darken that in. And we put a shadow. And I'll detail more of this in. I'll post it on Instagram. Hey you guys, if you if you haven't been uh if you haven't followed me yet, will you please uh follow me on Instagram? I'm trying to get for some reason, my kids think it's really cool. Robert Newstead, eccentric elephants. Robert Newstead's talking about the the book that these guys were inspired from called it's, it's comes or it's come from the Imagination Station. We did a uh, we did a, a, one of the episodes on the Imagination Station. On this one was called Eccentric Elephants. Robert Newstead, thanks for joining us today. Uh, it was it's on Amazon Prime right here. An eccentric elephants was inspired from a drawing lesson in this book, Drawing in 3D. You can get this on Amazon, Drawing in 3D. It's a 337-page, huge book. It's a great book for you guys to see. And then uh, also, please remember, I hope, I hope, I hope you guys sign up for my virtual Zoom. It's a Zoom. We're going to have a virtual Zoom a zoom based summer art camp. I hope, I hope, I hope you sign up, go to my website at markkistler.com and sign up for it. Sign up for it today. You guys be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. All right. All right. I hope, I hope, I hope you sign up for my summer art camp. Eccentric elephants. We continue. We continue now. Uh, I just, this this doesn't uh, this bothers me. I'm just not happy with this. So I'm, you know what? If I'm not happy, you're not happy, right? I'm gonna just I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna just round that off a little bit more. I like it better. You know what? I like it better if it's just to see what I did. Just a little tiny nuance. Just a little tiny nuance, and it really it really made a difference. Just take it, enjoy it, enjoy the process. Take your time, relax, have fun. Look at Robert Newstead comes on, and it just it just makes me, uh, makes me even more enthusiastic. I've always enjoyed Robert Newstead's collaborative spirit. Thanks, Robert, for coming on. You guys, 
you, you're just great. He, we, he and I have been friends. He and his wife and his kids and I and my kids have been friends for, uh, well, 35 years. It's good to, good to see you, buddy. All right, let's go to Square. Oh, by the way, uh, Robert, we got to talk about um, – I'm, uh, Mario's going to be going through Chicago, so I'm hoping you can uh, see him and give him a hug, okay? Uh, actually, social distance. So you can see him and wave and from 10 feet away. We love you. All right. Here we go. Uh, for the next one, I want to draw. I'm going to draw the. Uh, hey, hey, uh, Mario, did you want to do a Mario minute on this one? You want to? What do you guys think? Should we have Mario do this? The this Mario's minutes in the last square. You want to pick one of your wonderful vacuums, Mario? Do a, another vacuum. Yeah, you fill up. Do it. Did you have your breakfast? Huh? Oh, good. And you're feeling good today. All right. So everybody's Mario. We're going to give you more. Let's do Mario's minutes again. This will be awesome. This is going to be so much fun, you guys. So we're going to. Um, I'm going to give Mario this area here. And I'm going to make like, a, you know how I do. I like to make a scroll for Mario's Minutes. So this will be Mario's Minutes. I'm going to write Mario's Minutes up here. Mario's Minute. Minutes. And I'll darken that. You know how I do it. I, I'll take it and I'll, uh, like this, you know, I'll, I'll get it all fancy and everything later. All right, so we're going to have Mario's Minutes. Mario, you're going to be drawing right here, bud. So I'm going to draw a cool little scroll here for you. Oh, cat. Yeah, you're going to bring your cats on on here, too. That's going to be awesome, Momo. So he's going to draw right here. I'm going to draw. I think I'm going to have. I think I'm going to have this this scroll kind of up from the bottom, Mario. See this? I'm going to draw this scroll coming up from the bottom. That that Does that look cool? All right, so that'll be Mar. Mar you're going to draw right in there. So over here in this square, let me fix my YouTube channel. Mar, I'm so excited you're here for a lot. This is the second to last one. I draw with these types of pencils. You guys want to know, I don't get any kind of commission for these or anything. I should, but I order these by the box. I love them. They're refillable, but I end up giving them away a lot to my students, so I go through them so fast. A 9 millimeter, the sharp, and they're cold. Or they're gold. They're cold gold. And it's a PS209. Now, that I love that. You can get that. And also, I love my click erasers. And I love my dusting brush. These are all. Now, if you go to my, go to my summer camp information. Oh, and the Stompies. Yeah, Mar, this is Mario's stomp right here. He's going to use that. You can get a bag of stomps like this. I have a link for this, a link for this, link for this, and link for the dusting, all on my uh, summer art camp information page. So if you go to the uh, uh, virtual summer art camp, the, the go to the markkista.com, markkista.com, click the summer art camp logo. It tells you about the Zoom. I hope you sign up. But it also gives you a list of supplies that that I uh, recommend that you get, okay? It's really, really helpful. All right. Let's go on with this one. So now, so Mara's going to draw this one. So on this one, I think, what should we draw for this one? Should we draw the... Uh, uh, the um, African elephant, the 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 bowl, the the grandpa elephant coming towards you, or should we draw elephant butts? You know what? I think I'm going to draw the bowl because I I saw such a good graphic this morning. Look at this. Oh, I got a text from my pool man. There's Paul. He's down. He's out back in our pool. So, uh, yeah. You can look out, Mario, and wave to him from the balcony if you want. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you guys are being so patient. I'm doing uh, household business on my text. Isn't that funny? P.S. Yeah, this was the, the P.S. 209. Pentel, P.S. 2, P2, P, P209. All right. Yeah, elephants. All right, let's get going. I'm going to draw the ball. Oh, the reason I picked up my phone is I wanted to show you.
All right, here. Here's what I wanted to show you. I want to show you this picture of the the elephant. All right, so here, check this out. I, I type in elephants into my uh, uh, Google, and then I click images, and this is the one we're going to draw right here. This is really cute. This is cool. Look at this guy. Okay, let's draw this guy. Oh, look at it. it has two. Look at this. Look at this. It has two, two little, two of these little uh, birds on top. We're going to draw that. Let's draw this guy right here with two birds on top. So here we go. I'm going to put that up here. I'm going to zoom in the picture. Oops, I lost it. Where's my picture? Uh, there it is. All right, here we go. I like it. I'm going to do a screenshot in case I lose that one. All right, look. Look at this picture. Isn't that awesome? You see the birds up on the horizon line? That's what we're going to draw right now. Does that look awesome? All right, so let's, let's do it. So I'm going to start this one. So it's good. The, the top, I mean, it's built on three circles. I'm going to draw. I'm going to move it over just a bit here. I'm going to draw a circle about, I try to position it just right. Draw a circle for his head. And then I'm going to draw the, his trunk and his uh, horns are really another oval down here. All right, I'm going to zoom this in so you guys can see it a little bit more. I'm going to build this with circles. I just take my time, you guys. We're in no hurry, right? So I'm going to build this one. Again, this is what we're going to draw. I'm looking at the photograph. We're going to draw that uh, elephant, that bull elephant looking straight at you. And we're going to put the two birds on top. These two little birds up here. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to put one little bird up here. And I'll put one bird behind his ear. But we'll, we'll shape it here. The other bird's going to be over here behind his ear. All right. Now. So this will be his skull. The top of his skull is going to come down. And this is so interesting, you guys. Make sure that it's, uh, the skull is going to come down to his horns. And then it's going to be his tusks. I'm sorry, his tusk. And then we're going to draw his... Uh, rip. And we're going to draw his uh, thick trunk coming down out of the picture. All right. So the this tusk will be over here. I draw this tusk. This tusk is going to be coming down on that side. Let's make sure you guys can see it here. This will be fun. We're going to be uh, kind of shaping this and molding it. And then I'm going to draw this tusk over here. It's a it's a really cool it's a really cool shape of the tusk come out here. It doesn't have to be exact. You just get it pretty close. And see, they're different, a little bit different shapes, and that's cool. It looks a little more natural that way. And then uh, his eyes now, his eyes kind of come up back behind here. Kind of his eyes, and this, there's, it's in the shadow of this bone. And then this test comes up. And his, his eyes like in the shadow back over here. And this eyes over here. And it's pretty dark. It's a, it's all in a shadow. See, it's a, in a, it's a shadow. You don't see much but the shadow. And we're going to be working on that shadow a lot. So, so now look at these contour lines. See the contour lines? They curve different direction. One contour line goes up and one contour line goes down. So this contour line is going to be going up, and then these contour lines are kind of going straight across, and then these kind of contour lines, they switch direction, see? We're thinking about this tube, the elephant's trunk's tube. It's going to give it shape. It's going to give it, and then we just kind of work the, uh, we kind of work, work the shape. we we'll work the trunk here. We're going to kind of darken in that. That uh, skull. Look, I get all quiet when I'm concentrating. So I'm just now. I'm now. I'm kind of detailing it in. I'm looking at the drawing. I'm looking between my drawing and the photograph, and then what we're doing here. Now the ears are just majestic. So I'm going to have this ear come up here, and it look at this just huge. And it comes down about the middle of the trunk. Look how big this ear is. See this? And there's a slant, and it goes out. We'll try it again. It goes up. 
and I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it. It has has one, two. I see through. Uh, see see these angles here. See the angles. It has one angle, two angle, and then it comes down like a wing of a bird. So I I did three angles, and I don't need to do that. I think I have to draw the first angle a little bit more. I'm trying to fo really follow follow the photograph here. This is this is a little different. We usually do. We usually draw straight from our imagination, but this is kind of fun, right? Isn't this cool? And then we're going to draw some bumps and wiggles down the side. Okay. So then I'm going to do the other ear on the other side. But so we're going to. We know we have his. He's got like these little, uh, like two bumps on the top of his head, and his ear comes up a little bit. And it goes out, and there's a little niche right here. Now I know that end of the, I'm seeing on the photograph how it ends about right here. See, see the ear how it ends about right, right there, right above the trunk. So I know it's going to end about right there. So I want to, I want to have the ear slant down, and then it's going to come down right, right about there. All right. Now I'm looking at both ears. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, so that. The ears match a little bit. So it's going to go off the page is what's going to happen. It's going to have to go off the page a little bit. I'm going to lower this down here. All right. that I like that better. So if you need to, just go right off the page. All right. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it so far? Let me check out comments. Yeah, you guys are concentrating, aren't you? So we're looking at the photograph. And we're going to keep working on the shadows, lots of shadows. And then Mara's going to come in here. And then I'll finish more, more detail of this guy later. I want, to, I, I want to work on this trunk a little bit. I want to make this trunk bigger. I'm going to make this trunk a little bit bigger. Like that. And uh, that's okay. I like it how it's a little bit... A different shape than the than the one on the left, but I wanted to make it a little bit bigger. And then let's let's put the uh, the texture. I'm going to add more, a little more texture on the side. Now I'm going to take my stompy and I'll shade more of this as we go. How are you guys doing? One through ten. How are you guys doing? You guys okay? We did our we did our cartoon elephant of the from the shampoo bottle. We did uh, more of a Kind of, oops, I forgot to put your little feet up here. Sorry about that. Forgot to put your little foot dangling here. Your little foot here. And then there you are. Isn't that cool how you're sitting on top of the elephant? Yeah, I love that. I'm going to put more. Look at it. You can go back in. You can have so much fun. Mario! Uh, Mario, you ready for your minute? Okay, let me go get Mario. Mario! I gotta go get Mario for this minute. Mario? Mario? Yeah, hi, buddy. I'm in the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, I was running all over the house. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I hope you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> did you hear him? I hope not. But if you did, it's part of the live. Poor guy. All right. Um, he, 
we might have to do the his drawing here. Um, oh, I don't know if he'll come. All right. Here we go. Oh, I was running over the house trying to find Mario. So I'm going to draw these two little birdies up on top. i got to zoom in on them. Anybody? They look like... Uh, yeah, you're part of our family. I'm running all over the house. Mario, Mario. Uh, yeah, we got to do more to save the elephants of the world. That's for sure. So I'm going to draw a cool little bird here. This little bird with his beak. A little, it's like a silhouette of a bird. This little is what? What kind of bird is this on top? Do you guys know the name of that bird? And then there's another bird here, and there's his neck, and he's there's his beak back here. So you got two little birds on his head, and I'm going to leave those birds white, so I'll put a really dark background behind there as we go. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, I know. <laughs> well. I, I, I hope we can get Mara to draw a little vacuum on this one. Um, but we'll see. All right. Now, I'm going to draw his ears. I'm just having fun with the detail here. See, I, I did a zoom up so you can see close. Look at this guy. Isn't that great? Look at those great shadows back here. So he has this, this line in his ear back here. And this is a great spot for a shadow. So right away, now we start working the shading on this one, you guys. You see that? It's going to look cool. So what, we're, what I'm shooting for is something like that, right? So a lot of the shading comes up from under the ears. You see for this one, see on the skull and the shadow and the ear right here? Okay, now, so I'm going to draw, draw his... Uh, his skull, his head comes up, and then I'm going to draw this line about right there for his ear. I'm having fun with this. Hope you guys are. <laughs> Darken it. And we're gonna, I'm going to be using my, uh, my Stompy to blend this quite a bit, okay? And I'm looking at the ear. I'm looking at it. That's okay. Now I'm thinking about moving this down just a bit because it, uh, I think I did that, that edge too high. So I'm going to lower this just a bit here. Let's see if this works. I'm going to see how that looks. And, uh, yeah, I like it better. Sometimes just those little tiny, those little nuances, you know, you guys, little tiny details. Okay, so we're going to darken around his trunk here. And back underneath his eye. You see, see a little bit. Look, I'm just having fun with the shading here, you guys. And then I'm going to take my uh, Stompy in just a second. And I'm going to put a few little wrinkles. Contours, contour, contour. You see, I'm going a little slower than I normally because I'm out of my comfort zone here, guys. Remember, give yourself, give yourself permission to flop. See, I'm comfortable drawing little doggies and sharks and flowers. So this is this is stretching, this is stretching, but I wanted you guys to see that it's fun to uh, to stretch your comfort zone and just try something. And sometimes it'll flop, and sometimes it'll be a big uh, a big success. So I'm gonna draw, kind of draw his back. You can see part of see you can see his body back behind here, his legs. See his legs back behind his trunk, so I can see a bit of his legs. And you can see his legs coming down here. I think I see a little bit of a shape. 
That's kind of cool. Now, this one isn't straight down. This one comes out of a curve, too. You're going to have it like that. A bit of a, a silhouette coming in. And then this, this is all going to be shadow underneath his ear. <clears throat> all shadow down here. Lots of shading, you guys. And then we'll just keep working that. And we'll keep working that one for you. And I'm, I was hoping. I'm, I'm still hoping more will get in here, but I'm not sure. All right. Well, we'll work on more detail of this guy, but I love it. Let's go to square number four. Hey, he made it. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. All right. It's time for Mario's Minutes. I'm going to – here, I'm going to dark Mario. I am so – I was about to erase this and draw. I'm so excited. We only have today and tomorrow for – for this and then Mario uh and then he leaves next week for his family visit so it's very very cool Mario's minutes all right Mario you ready oh yeah. all right you know you know which one do you want to draw well well he's gonna get ready while he's doing that I'll just add more shading I'll use my stompy and I wanna I'm gonna add more more value to the trunk this one has a lot of blending on it. Okay. This one has a lot of blending on it. So I'm taking my, my uh, Stompy and I'm just blending the this elephant. Do you guys love it? Now I'm going to darken this in here while he's, Mario's getting ready. Oh, we have Mario. Everybody, can everybody welcome Mario? So Mario, they're all they're all happy you're here. I was running all over the house, Mario. Did you hear me? I was yelling, Mario, did you hear me? I was like, where's Mario? And then it freaked me out. I couldn't find you. And so I said, How where in the world? Uh uh oh. Oh. Okay, good job. Hey Landon, welcome back. Thanks for being really, really uh polite today. I appreciate it. Thanks there, buddy. Thanks, Landon. Appreciate it. You guys are doing so great our last two days. Don says hi, Mario. Gabe says hi. Benjamin says hi. Whenever you're ready, Mario, I'm going to keep on just shading my uh, my big elephant guy. And now behind here, you know what I'm going to do is I know that right away, I know that this is going to be a dark contrast behind these two these two birds here. I know I'm going to do that. So I'll start tomorrow. Look, I'm putting the background behind here. Are you ready to come over? All right. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I can't hear you. I don't have my hearing aids. Huh? Oh, yeah. You take your time. All right. So Mario's getting, he's getting all prepped over there. He's getting, he's, he's trying to pick the perfect vacuum to draw. No. Oh, what are you not drawing the vacuum? Yeah. Mar Mario. Okay, you can tell him that when you come on. All right. Oh, I'm going to find it on the phone? Yeah, okay, so here. All right, here, Mars, we're, Mars finding a special picture. Uh, okay, here he is, Mario. One second here. Oh, you know what you could do, Mario, is you could draw this image and do, a group, do eight of them. I think you should draw that one right there and just do maybe maybe like a group, just a suggestion like that. There you go. Huh? Oh, I, I can't find the picture. That's what I'm trying to find it. But you keep looking. Okay. You add it on your... 
Yeah, I put it. I put it right. The same thing that we tried to do yesterday uh, that you you had found yesterday, and I can't. There it is. There it is. You found it. Yeah, All right. I'll let you show them the picture. I'll keep it on your phone. It's right there. And I'm going to take a screenshot just in case we lose that one. All right. We got Mario's picture, you guys. So you want to come over here, Mario, and see it? So Mario's going to draw right here. I'm going to tape it down for him. Mario's Minutes. It's Mario's Minutes. I'm going to get my tape and tape it down for him for his his uh, last one. Tape it down. All right, Mara, here you go. And you, you brought your Stumpy. And YouTube's all set. Okay, here we go. Mario's going to draw some a really cool picture. And I'm going to get out of the, the seat here. Your, your, uh, your stats are hanging right there on that. All right, I'm going to get out of here for you. Good job. Hi guys. Well, today I want to show you how to draw eight of these sanitaries back in cleanness. get them because I'll leave for my, my business for my cleaning service. Oh, that's great. Here's Michael me. Here's Michael Farmy for my trader. All my equipment. So today, here we go. So draw your base of it. Do a square. Do a square for the motor. And then I'll go up. Go up. That's your bag. And then your handle. And then two. And then. That's so cool. You started so good. Mm hmm. So Rod Thompson says, Super Mario. Thank you. And Robert Newstead says, hey, Mario. Hey. And John says, Mario's drawing so great. He is so confident and bold with the pencil. I'm trying to squeeze them all in here. So, bear with me. 
Hey, Landon, please don't ask to be friends with anybody in the group. Just keep your conversation just about Mario's drawing. I don't want you guys, uh, I want you to be safe. And only with your parents' permission do you get friends with anybody. Okay? Only with your parents' permission do you get, uh, be friends with anybody. But please don't do that on my, in my text box. All right, thanks, guys. Now, Mario's doing so great. He's drawing a bunch of vacuums. Thank you, uh, Mary, Mary Lou on uh, YouTube for your kind comment about how, saying every day has been a good learning experience. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for joining us. This ends our uh, six, 60 or 70 day uh, My hour of pencil power just... quarantine. We have one more day tomorrow. Mario's doing a fantastic job. He's just drawing a whole bunch of cool vacuums. He's drawing a whole collection of them. What I want to get <laughs> different positions. That's so cool. Some are close, some are far away. This is wonderful. It's like my dad teach you. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like his drawings. It's like his drawing on the elephant, and has some some stuff is far away, some some stuff is closer. That's how I'm doing. And Mara Emma from Scotland says. Mario could do a vacuum power show, Mario. You could do a whole show. Mario I vacuum can. power. If you give me the right stuff. Hey, I can if you give me the right stuff. God, sure. Well, thank you. Well, uh, we got a note from uh, Hidden Amistad on YouTube. They want to purchase the drawing, Mario. They want to purchase the elephants and the vacuum sheet. Um, I'll tell you what, you, if you can make a donation for two hundred dollars to the uh, my Mark Kistler's, actually make it to Mario's GoFundMe. This will be part of Mario's GoFundMe. If you donate two hundred dollars, well, contribute. It's not really a donation, but if you contribute two hundred dollars to Mario's GoFundMe, you type in Mario's Mighty Mario's Dream. You donate two hundred dollars to Mario's Dream, and we will Mario will ship you this. Original Elephants and Vacuums page. It helps Mario reach his dream of getting his own yard trailer and his yard equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, Rod's asking how long, how often do I stream live? Well, during the our virtual summer camps, you guys. Mark, can you put this in front of your picture just for a minute? Yeah. I'll be uh, zooming four hours a day during my summer art camp. Four hours a day for the next ten weeks. Can I say this? Yeah. Next year, we'll be back in the school. We'll be back in the classroom, right? That's right. Next year, Mars is going to be our official uh, janitorial cleaning service. Mm -hmm. Move that out of your way now. So thanks, Mo, for putting that on there. Yeah. Back to your drawing. Wow, that's so great. Now he's going to add his, uh, his uh, he loves to stompy. Which I'm going to take with me. I'm on a trip. But Mark just drew a whole bunch of vacuums. Isn't that awesome? I hope you guys decide to sign up for my virtual Zoom summer art camp. It's going to be amazing. Just go to my website. Diane's going to post the link. It's markkistler.com. If you want to uh, purchase this drawing of the elephants, make a $200 contribution to Mario's GoFundMe page. You type in Mario's GoFundMe, and then here's his. Here's that. And we thank you guys. We thank you so much. Hmm? Hey, door knock. Doorbell. Doorbell. Doorbell downstairs. Oh, the doorbell downstairs? Yeah. Well, oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm looking at it. And, uh, no, I'm not going to the door. They, there's signs everywhere saying don't enter. So I don't know why why they're at the door. Mm. Oh, I see. Someone, they just left a package on the door. Okay, mm. we got it. Could good. be some of your stuff. Your clean stuff, Mario. Yep. All right, take us out, Mark. Take your picture off so they can see. The, there you go. They can end. Let's zoom out. Oh, yeah. You want to put that on there? That'll be our last shot. There you go, guys. My cleaning service. You guys want my service during the summer? You guys want carpet cleaning or house cleaning or lawn mowing? Let me know. I can come do it for you. Yeah, I have a week for uh, England, you guys. And summer, we have some questions uh, about the summer camp. 
uh, we have a way more. Can you put this this on there? Yeah. Put that time sheet. These are the different times, you guys. We have a week for uh, India, for Eastern uh, uh, United States Central Time, Pacific Time. Uh, we have a week well, for Pacific adjust time. Adjust it up. We have so move, can... yeah, just move that up the page just a bit. Okay, no, do you want to, do you want to adjust this camera up so you can get full shot? Yeah, you can. Just... No, do you want to adjust the camera up a little so you can get the full shot of it? Well, that's a good idea. When just you do it? down a little bit, it gets enough. Just up right there. Now, you see all these different weeks? We do uh, <clears throat> British, England, Australia, <clears throat> Dubai. So hand me that list again. So we cover a whole world, different weeks, different time zones. Go to my website and check it out. Put that on there, would you? <clears throat> and Mario, take us out, would you? Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys Thank later. You so much. Stay safe. Wait, wait, wait. I want to show them this. Oh, yeah. You want to end on that one? You want to show them that picture? They saw it. They saw it, Mario. They saw it?